Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to talk about our two-hand pullover squat. The two-hand pullover squat is an excellent exercise. It does two things very, very well. It encourages you to get low in your squat and encourages you to stand all the way up at the top. The two major problems people tend to have with squatting is they tend not to squat all the way down and they tend not to stand all the way up at the top. You see this a lot when people are doing body weight squats for time. They try to go really fast and they end up just kind of doing this forward lean thing at the top where they never finish their hips. Body weight squats are great, but if they are put into a program without something that forces you to stand all the way up or get all the way down, people tend not to get as much benefit out of them as they could. Enter the heavy club. The heavy club will allow you to do two things very well. It will allow you to get down low because you have a weight to lean against, which allows you to get further and further back in your heels. Pull your shoulder blades back. When you stand all the way up, putting the weight behind your head forces you to push your hips forward to squeeze your glutes and to activate your abs. When you do the pullover and get all the way down, you can lean against the weight. Pull over, squat. Pull over, squat. When the club is light, you don't have to get down as low. As the club gets heavier, you can lean further and further back away from it. So doing a two-hand heavy club squat tends to start people at an intermediate level and advance them to a much better squat over time as the weight gets heavier. A very heavy, heavy club is 50 pounds. Your average male individual will be using between 15 and 45 pounds. Your average female individual will probably be using between 10 and 30 pounds for these two-handed club activities. So these are intermediate weights. They are not body weight back squats with a barbell, which have different techniques. We want to point those feet straight ahead so that later on, we'll be able to link them into other types of stepping patterns effectively without doing a lot of extra foot dancing. When we do the pullover, our focus is on this order position. We wanna come back to this order position at the completion of each pullover. When the club goes straight back behind us, the top hand is the one we care about. We always call it the Fonz. This hand goes straight back, thumb comes back to touch the nape of your neck, and then you pull your elbow all the way down until it touches your body with a 90 degree angle. Common mistake that you will see is people will try to do the pullover and they will have their hands up in the air instead of putting their hands down on their shirt. And when they pull over, they won't finish the rep. They will try to hold the club up high. This works fine with light weights. It does not work at all with heavy weights. You're going to have to get to this 90 degree angle with heavy weights. Club exercises tend to be self-correcting exercises. You do the progressions and you get to the heavy weights, there's kind of no way to do it wrong. Your brain wants to be good at things, will eventually learn good structure kind of on its own. We get to this 90 degree angle. Two important points. Dominant hand thumb comes all the way down. We are gonna start with this tricep extension part of the movement, tricep extension, then use your lat to pull over, catching that 90 degree angle, drive the shoulder down. We are gonna add in the squat. Our elbows are gonna track inside the knees, not all the way back by your groin, out by your knees, so that you can drive your knees out and lift your chest up, pressing your chest forward to try and make your crown to coccyx alignment straighter. We would like our knee behind the level of our toe. The further back you can get, the better it is. I've had three knee surgeries. If you haven't had any knee surgeries, you should be lower than me. With a heavy club, a person with non-surgical knees should be able to sit all the way down on the ground and get all the way back up. Stand all the way up at the top, pull your kneecaps up, squeeze your glutes. The weight goes behind the head, pull over, squat. You can make this two movements, separate the pullover and the squat, or you can put them together. In the beginning, start by making them two separate movements. Inhale and exhale for both. Exhale on the hard part. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, 
exhale, inhale, exhale, exhale on the hard parts. The hard parts are probably the pullover and probably the stand up. If you're doing this movement more for time, you can exhale everywhere. If you're trying to go fast, exhaling everywhere allows you to get rid of air and your body will involuntarily inhale in the middle. It would be exhale, 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 exhale. It's a lot of exhales. There are intermediate breathing techniques in between there, and if anybody wants to know, we'll make more videos about them. Let's demonstrate it with the other hand high, so you can see it on the other side. We just did right hand going to right ear. Now we are going to do left hand going to left ear. The top hand is the defining hand, because eventually you will take the bottom hand away and turn these into single arm club activities. Left hand, point it straight ahead. If it's really, really heavy, your hand is gonna to drift to the inside and it's gonna end up in front of your face. Fight to rotate it out without letting your elbow drift out. What we wanna avoid is any gap between our body and our elbow. Pull your elbow in, rotate your hand out, stabilize from the shoulder, drive your lat down. When the club goes behind your head, brace, drive your rib cage down. Avoid lifting your head up and doing the hot girl arch. When you do the hot girl arch, your glutes are probably off. Push your rib cage down, squeeze your glutes. Your glutes should be on. Pull all the way over and go all the way down to the bottom. When we go down to the bottom, our feet are pointed straight ahead. Our elbows are on the inside of our knees so we can drive our knees out Roll our shoulder blades back and down. We stand up at the top, pull your kneecap up. Flex that muscle, flex this muscle, flex this muscle. Straight back behind you, pull over, squat. Pull over, squat. Pull over, squat. The most dangerous part is when the club is back behind you, that's when you should be squeezing your glutes super hard. If your glutes are squeezed, your back is probably safe because it's gonna try and drag your abs on. If your glutes are off, you're probably gonna hurt yourself. Don't do that, squeeze your glutes. I like to do heavy clubs for time under tension. Set a timer for a specific amount of time. To keep that time interval the same. Use the same constant weight and try and get more reps each time you train. That way you'll be able to compare apples to apples. The time is the same, the weight is the same, and the numbers go up you got better. This has been Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica. Squeeze your glutes.